everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajumko, and here's your afternoon political update for Monday, March 1st. Authorities restore order and get aid to thousands of people affected after one of the strongest earthquakes in Chilean history hit the nation's coast this weekend. More than 700 people died in the quake, with the number expected to rise. President Obama spoke out about the tragedy. On behalf of the American people, Michelle and I send our deepest condolences to the Chilean people. The United States stands ready to assist in the rescue and recovery efforts. A U.S. risk management firm placed the damage between $15 and $30 billion. Meanwhile, U.S. officials warned that al-Qaeda's network is spreading in Africa. The group number is in about the 200s, but U.S. defense members say it's not their size that frightens them, it's their growing strength. The militants adopted some of al-Qaeda's techniques like roadside bombs and suicide attacks. They've also posted several videos on the web. A violent storm slammed the Atlantic coast of France and more than 50 people are dead in Western Europe as a result. Portugal, Spain, Belgium and Germany were also affected. France has declared a national disaster. And U.S. troops will soon be allowed to use social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. The Department of Defense concluded that the benefits of social media outweigh any risk to security. The Pentagon will use this new freedom to better interact with U.S. military employees. There's your afternoon political roundup for March 1st. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more news updates throughout the day.